Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see quarantine policies in Microsoft Defender for Office 365. So I'll just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I'm logged on to the portal. So once you are at security.microsoft.com and you are on the home screen, scroll down to email and collaboration, then click on policies and rules. Click on threat policies and then under rules, click on quarantine policies. Here you will see the option quarantine policy and it says use this page to configure how messages are handled by Office 365 quarantine. You can also configure how end users and admin users can view and manage quarantine messages. And it allows admins to define the user experience for quarantine messages as well. So what users are allowed to do to their own quarantine messages, whether users receive periodic every four hours daily or weekly notifications about their quarantine messages via quarantine notifications so it has quarantine notification default full access policy admin only access policy and default full access with notification policy so when you are this page you can also connect it through exchange online powershell if you change the quarantine policy that is assigned to a supported protection feature the changes affects quarantine messages after you make the change and make the messages that were quarantined before you made the changes are not affected by the setting of the new quarantine policy assignment. Then you have to set the permissions through XDR unified role based access control or from email and collaboration permissions in the Microsoft Defender portal or through Microsoft Entra permissions. Now we'll, we'll create a quarantine policy. Here you are at this click on add custom policy to start the new quarantine policy visit on the policy name enter a brief but unique name in the policy name my first policy okay click on next now it says on the recipient message access page select one of the following rules limited access the individual permissions that are included in this permission group are described in the section so basically users can do anything to their quarantine messages except release them from quarantine without admin approval okay and then set specific access which is advanced use this value to specify custom permissions okay so select release action preference allow recipients to request a message to be released from quarantine allow recipients to release a message from quarantine let's say I do this select additional action recipients can take on quarantine messages Okay, send uh, delete purview block sender allow sender. I'll go with limited quarantine notification if you want to enable it. Include quarantine messages from block senders addresses. Don't include quarantine messages from block sender addresses. And on the review page, you will see the name and what all options you have selected. And you will see that policy here. So quarantine notification, you will see the policy like this, which I created in March just to do my labs. And then you can also create quarantine policies in PowerShell as well through using the commandlets and the exchange online PowerShell or standalone exchange online PowerShell modules. And then you have to assign quarantine policies and supported policies in the Microsoft Defender portal. Now, if you go to anti-spam policies, here you can select an existing inbound anti-spam policy by clicking anywhere in the row other than the checkbox so let the policy populate here or you can create a new policy as well like we described in our previous videos i'll wait for this thing to come up okay here it is now if you click on this this says this is an inbound policy now once it will load and on the action page is the action page here right on the action page uh, every word that has the quarantine message action select also has the select and quarantine policy box okay if you would have edited it this is the action and if you will click on edit actions here it is select the quarantine policy you can select which quarantine policy to associate 
and during the creation of the anti-spam policy if you change the action of a spam filtering verdict to quarantine message the select quarantine policy box is blank by default a blank value means the default quarantine policy for that verdict is used when you later view or edit the anti-spam policy the quarantine policy name is shown which you are seeing here so this name is if you'll see here under actions quarantine policy here you don't see that right and will only access policy but by default it will be blank and when you'll see this you will only see this policy same way you can do that in the powershell as well and if you want to attach anti phishing policies and then you can do the same thing here and same thing for the powershell as well and then same thing to use your anti malware policies all right so this is what i wanted to cover related to the quarantine messages i hope this was informative for all of you if you have any further questions please mention them in the comment section and i will see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day